Environmental noise pollution affects one in four European citizens. It is caused by continuous exposure to noise from air, road and rail traffic and can lead to a range of health-related issues from stress and tiredness to strokes and even heart disease. Fortunately, we have ways to tackle environmental noise. It's just a matter of putting these solutions in place. It's only fairly recently there's been, you know, a substantial amount of research on noise and health. Noise pollution has been a bit of a Cinderella in relation to other sources of pollution. And I think only recently people have understood that, you know, noise can have a profound effect on people's health. It can lead to an increase in heart rate and blood pressure and also the secretion of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline and noradrenaline. And those themselves, over a long period of time, can lead to effects on ill health. At the beginning of the railway behind uh, this hotel, there were only a few trains running during the daytime, slow ones, light ones. When we got electricity for the railway traction, the speed rise up to 100 kilometers an hour, 100, 110. The trains are longer and the trains are more heavy, and that makes a problem. Yeah, what we can see here is the peak level of the passing by a train, and that's a problem with the health because you cannot sleep deeply for a long time to relax really and to be fresh in the next morning. Aircraft remain in service for somewhere between 30 and 40 years. For that reason, that it's important that there is some stability and certainty in design standards. The limits that are defined in the regulations that we implement are set according to what's technologically feasible and economically reasonable. If the technological improvements are not maintained, then even at the lowest rates of traffic growth, the number of people exposed to potentially harmful noise levels will increase. We are in a, in a city with a lot of traffic, so the people complain for the noise. The solution was uh, new pavements, used uh, rubberized asphalts, so a powder coming from uh, used tires. So the rolling noise that typically there is in a normal road is reduced. If you consider the first cost, you pay 25% more. But if you consider the, the life of the payment, you save money. Because the durability of the, this kind of payment is longer. What we need is repeat this experience in more city, because this will be a reducing cost for the people. It's very important to implement EU legislation to control noise. It's also important for governments within the EU to have some sort of guidelines to which to work in order to reduce noise and thus reduce the effects on health. With an effort and with recognition of, of noise as a health problem, it can still remain a high priority for action.